life here on Hatteras has always been ruled by the weather. Whether it's weather moving in, it could be ruled by the tides. If the weather is really bad and we're in a moon phase and the tide gets high, I mean, you can't leave the island at high tide. I don't know of anywhere else where weather dictates your life. It's important to me to document weather and everyday life here because there's a lot of people that come on vacation here, and, but they're only coming to vacation here like in season when the weather's nice. The thing that I like about living here the most is just forever changing. Obviously the beach and the ocean. For me, it's maybe educating people as to what Hatteras is like and what it can be like year-round. And it's, it's a really raw place. I've been here on Hatters for 39 years. About a year, two years out of high school, we started buying disposable cameras, and that's kind of how it started. I was just shooting stuff that I liked, whether it was the lighthouse where it used to sit in its old location, or we'd have like a, like a storm or something, just shooting photos of damage from a storm. Photographing weather was always there. You had to deal with it. It's, it's in your face as soon as you step outside of your house. Like you have to address it as soon as you leave your house and hop in your car. The way I got into surf photography, I grew up surfing and, and bodyboarding, so I was in it and around it all the time. That was stuff that I was taking photos of. The feeling that I would get from surfing was, it's cliche, but I mean, yeah, it is like adrenaline. It is part of it, you know, like you're, you're in a situation where you don't necessarily have control. You're just figuring out a way to maneuver in that situation to where you don't get hurt. When I'm out shooting, let's just take surfing for example, I'm taking photos of peripheral things, and that might be my friends hanging out in the parking lot or them hanging out on the beach, because there's moments happening there that are just as important, and let's just say somebody in that photograph might pass away a year from now. You've got this image, you've captured somebody's soul that might mean a lot more to me or their family down the road. Surfing was everything to him, shooting surfing. But even with surfing, it wasn't just the shot of the guy coming through the wave. He was just interested in human stories and telling stories. When the Fisherman Project came around, he took it as an assignment. There was an article that was coming out in a newspaper down here called the Island Free Press. And it was about Day at the Docks, a celebration of Hatteras Village recovering from Hurricane Isabel and was able to photograph guys, charter fishing and commercial fishing. All of a sudden he saw that these guys are like him. 
They're not gonna have a long conversation with you. And he felt like that's how he was, and now he can tell their story. To me, the Independent Waterman Project is important because it gives you a glimpse into a commercial fisherman's life, whether it's on the boat or out in the water. And then you're seeing people passing away and generations now it being handed over to the grandson or the granddaughter. And then you see this history happening and you're starting to look back at these pictures and you start to realize how important it is. We weren't even aware of all of the, the hardships that North Carolina fishermen and independent watermen face. And as we've become more aware of that, the project takes on so much more significance because it's become a project of advocacy. The life of a, of a commercial fisherman really revolves around the weather. Weather dictates pretty much everything for them. If the weather's bad, fish isn't being caught, fish isn't being brought back to the dock, and then money's not being pumped into the local economy. The main purpose for the Independent Waterman Project is to bring awareness to who are the people that are commercial fishermen. And for me, the focus in photographing it isn't necessarily the act of fishing, it's, it's the people that are involved with it. And yes, you have to show the fishing part, but you also want to show them at the fish house with their, their friends and their colleagues, with their family as well. They're such a big part of the community here on Hatteras. It, it needs to be celebrated and it also needs to be protected as well. It's been so incredible to see Daniel capture not just the people of this place, but the beauty of this place in such a profound way.